Thank you. Well, in our health alert tonight, life-saving information that you need to know. Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, joins us now to show us how to help someone survive a heart attack, doctor. Absolutely, Dave. So February is Heart Health Month, and it's a perfect time to remind people about the signs and symptoms of a heart attack. It's also important to know what to do if you suspect you or a loved one is about to have a cardiac event. The technical name for a heart attack is myocardial infarction, and it happens when the blood flow to the heart is cut off or severely reduced. More than 750,000 Americans have these every year, and many of them don't survive. But the chances of death occurring as a result of a heart attack can be seriously reduced if you know what to do. All right, so what are some of the signs and that people should be on the lookout for, Doc? So Dave, sometimes heart attacks come on very quickly and without warning, but more often than not, there are subtle signs beforehand. Severe chest pain is one of the most characteristic signs, but not everyone feels it in their chest. Women oftentimes do not. You can have fatigue, random upper body discomfort, and shortness of breath that comes on suddenly and lingers for days or weeks, all of these could be symptoms of a looming cardiac event. So what are some of the things people can do to prepare for a possible heart attack? It's an important question, Glenda. So okay. knowing the warning signs are really critical, but there are other things that people can do as well. One of them is to learn CPR. Many studies have shown that life saving, this life saving procedure is one of the essential factors in determining whether someone who has had a heart attack will survive. It's also a good idea to know all the relevant medical information for each member of your family and to keep a medical kit packed with aspirin and nitroglycerin handy. Any prescriptions for people who suspect they're witnessing these early stages of a heart attack, Doc? Absolutely, Dave. So number one, call 911 immediately, even if you're not sure the person is having a heart attack. Number two, this is also very important, start performing CPR even if you've never been officially trained. The American Heart Association recommends that untrained bystanders perform what's called hands-only CPR to keep blood flowing until help arrives. Go to CPR.heart dot org for more details. Also, look around for an AED or an automatic external defibrillator. These use electricity to restart the heart. Read the instructions and use it in an emergency. And finally, if the person is conscious, try to find aspirin. Please give them 325 milligrams of aspirin waiting for help to arrive. And this is really critical information that can prove to be life-saving. Uh, as, as somebody who's had a member of my family pass away from a heart attack, if you do these steps, it could really make a difference. Certainly, Dr. Nandy, and we thank you so much for sharing. If you have a question or a health concern for the good doctor, you can email him at drnandy at wxyz.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter, and we'll get it right to him. We'll be right back.